Hear ye, hear ye. This is a swole cash shit show. We tried to hop in the same draft, but it finally happened. We are severed. Davis and I in one Best Ball Mania 4 draft, Kitchen in the other. We all have missions, and our producer has the ultimate mission today to toggle back and forth between two drafts. Steven, have a good show. Can you see the from the swole cash? Yep, that's me. I just want you guys to know I'm total dust. I'm the problem. Hear ye, hear ye. Leave it to the guy with the crypto dunes, Abby, to not understand content. <laughs> I should have known you getting 30 likes was directly written by someone else. <laughs> you know me. I don't do a, a ton of research before the show. I've put no research into this. Don't know if it's true at all. You're on the right show. To it, bro. Live a little. Live a little. Just live a little, guys. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to this Swolecast. I have been, um, I don't know, I'm on the outside looking in. I'm in my own room, and Pete is in his own room, and Davis, of course, said, hey, Pete, can I come to your room uh, and draft with you instead? Pete, can you just tell people how this happened? Because it's not my fault at all. I think it is your fault. No, you said it might be some people in the chat's fault. They I were think it's your chicken. fault because Davis and I were ready no. to hop in a draft right mm -hmm. at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, and you were no, not. No, you were not. You were right. If anything, I hopped on this show 30 minutes before with Devin. <laughs> 30 minutes? 30 30 minutes. minutes. <laughs> it still wasn't fixed? 30 minutes before, and then we thought we had it fixed, and then like two minutes before, something happened where it was, you know, um, where something, I, I don't know what happened. But uh, we got to figure it out now, and now we're in two different drafts. It's, it's on Devin to have a good show. Basically what's happening is Dave is in his own draft, Peter and I in our it's own. It's on Sosa. It's on, it's on Sosa, Sosa to have, to have a good show. So this is me and Pete's draft. Pete and I have our missions. David has his mission. Peter starts C.D. Lamb and Amon Ross St. Brown at the turn. I I think kind of cowardly. Peter, I can already tell you're going to tell me this is a coward move. I took Cup over Tyreek Hill, given that Tyreek is currently being investigated for slapping some guy at a marina this weekend. Uh, so Here's that's where thing, we're at. Here's the thing, Davis. If that shouldn't be your reason. Cooper Cup is a better pick than Tyreek Hill, regardless of the slapping. So I'm glad this news could force you to making the better pick regardless. Uh, I just feel I feel extremely uh, far far too risk averse. That was an extremely risk averse selection um, from me there. So you know, take that take that for what it's worth. I'm about to I'm about to trigger you uh, even more with the selection I'm about to make here. I'm taking the big dog at uh, at pick 21 instead of Saquon what? Barkley. First of all, our mission should have just been all getting in the same draft. That would have been kind of the first mission. <laughs> I'm so <still laughs> mad at you guys. You guys thought you had it. Pete, you said, okay, it's clear now. Davis said, okay, it's clear now. And you guys entered. How did both of you guys enter the same draft when you both said it was clear? That means Look, there was only 10 of 12 filled. Uh, Dave, what happened is you, your, your no, old man not, fingers no, were no, slow. No, no. There was, you thought that it was completely filled when in actuality it was only 10 of 12 filled. That you, is, because that's, it, that's it, bad math. You had to do bad math. No, it's the chat's fault. This is what they're doing. They, I, I did describe this before. They play chicken with it. They get in the room, and then right when it's about to fill, they dereg because they're trying to get in our draft room. So I did the math, and it had turned over. But right as I had done that, two people snapped deregged at the last second. And then Davis and I had two spots. We got in because we're quick on the trigger finger, and you got shut out. But why is it draft in the hopper? Shocking that uh, that uh, Sosa just told us he lost his screen share. So uh, I I just got to say we can't really pretend to be all that shocked that the man who auto drafts every single draft was uh, was not quick on the trigger. I got a tough decision here. Um, I'm actually I took the big dog in Cooper Cup. I'm going to take Metcalf over Ramondre to set myself up for uh, more optionality with my stacks. Have you made, done anything so far that would reveal your mission or hint at your mission, Davis? No, no, none of these picks. Uh, maybe in a very convoluted way, the big dog over Saquon could hint at my selection, but an extremely convoluted. Like you'd have to, you, you got to get like four layers into the onion 
to get to how that would reveal my mission. What about, what about you? Um, I don't want to, I think even answering that question might be too much of a hint. So, uh, I'm not going to reveal yet, but I would say you won't, I'll, I'll, I'll say that these two picks aren't any into any indication. I took the two top wide receivers based on ADP. Uh, Why aren't you showing me the draft board? <laughs> because oh I'm about to pick gosh. Davis. Oh my or you're talking about your draft board kitchen. Yeah. Where's your, no, your draft board. I'm about to pick. I need to see the selections. Oh, uh, why are you I having want... such a hard time sharing your screen kitchen? Oh, I, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I can do it easily. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, real, real Peter, real Peter would take Lamar and Watson here. Real Peter? Yeah. Not, not uh, yet. Uh, okay. All right. That that's got to be passing up on London for Judy in some way has to be a tell as well. I know. I mean, I, I will tell you right now, I'm Judy over London all day and twice. I got like my second share of London uh, this morning. That is that feels incredible. Okay. All right. Soccer Dave starts his draft with Patrick Mahomes and who would you take in the first round? That's very uh, early on. Pat. No. Uh, Patrick is second round. Uh, Bijan is first round. I am using the uh, spike week thing. So you can see, chose Bijan and then and Mahomes after that. Kitchen, will you try something? Yeah. So I just yeah. sent you, I don't even know if this will work. Probably doesn't. But I sent you a link directly to my draft board in the chat. If you post this in one of your tabs, will this work? Do you see this live draft if you click that? Um, let's see here. It's in it's in the Streamyard chat. You need to click on yeah. that and open that in a yeah. new tab. Yeah. Thanks, in Firefox. Davis. Not that big of a boomer. Okay, so David just took Patrick Mahomes six spots ahead of ADP. That has got to relate to his mission in some way, right? You don't know that. So what? What would? Is it was it just elite QB or does he need to do like a, a mega stack maybe like five players on one team and it's easy to get yeah. cheap Chiefs? Uh, it's it not look showing like that's going to work. Yeah. All right, you need the FFPC style where you could just any link you can view anyone's uh, draft board. I do. I love that about the FFPC. Um. All right, Dave. Well, uh, you know, really just keep us updated. Let us know. Yeah, let's just, and let's just set the table for what these missions are for someone who, uh, bless their hearts, they just now tuned in. Like, what is going on here? So what is going on is we are drafting these BBM4 teams. You can see um, Pete decided to have, like, 1700 left in his account. I've got $7 left in my account. <laughs> I had to um, top off over the weekend. <laughs> Okay, so so Davis and Peter are in their separate rooms, but they have individual missions that our producer Sosa gave to them. We don't know each other's mission. We have to guess based on the mission. Last week, um, Davis got the hard mission of zero RB, uh, which means that he didn't have to draft a running back until later on the draft. I was given three different teams to stack, and Peter was given um, the four tight end build. This week, it's completely different, and we have no clue what's going to happen. I'll give one hint right now. I am massively failing my mission, and I it might just be like a, a trip down to view the Titanic. It might just not be salvageable uh, at this point. You're, you're laughing. You're laughing at the very concept of safety. You're they're being told you need to build the the viewport strength for four thousand meters, and you're building it for fifteen hundred meters, and just saying it's going to be fine. David is on the clock to make his third pick with a start of Bijan and Patrick Mahomes. He's scrolling down the list, which indicates to me uh, he has not thought this out. He just has not. No, I, out. I've, I've thought it out, but I had to obviously do some stuff. I, uh, so he's, he's he's starting Bijan. What what are we doing, dude? Okay, he's starting he's starting Bijan, Mahomes, Debo. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I thought you almost clicked Najee Harris there, which would have been uh, draft the worst player in the in the NFL. <laughs> that would have been that would have been a good mission. Um, I will say this: that Sosa gave me the mission and then said, "Shouldn't be that hard." Uh, and I was thinking, <laughs> famous last words for a kitchen yeah, mission, right? For first time, 
but um, I have been drafting some on DraftKings. I also did two Chihuahuas yesterday. Um, so I'm getting more and more acclimated to uh, to drafts and starting. I'm starting to create my own strategy and come up with my own like staple players. And as I mentioned it last week, from someone who's been a finalist in multiple best ball championships, you have to take stands on guys. You cannot just draft from ADP like Davis does. Um, Davis, do you have your own custom rankings? Yes. You do? And those I they're actually they're actually I'm going to publish them on the Patreon this afternoon. I think I just I've been working through them on underdog uh, this week. Um, but yes, I do. I do. David, why do you ask? Uh, just curious, because like I think you have to have your own rankings um, to fulfill like these missions that you're that you're on and also basically okay dave what are we dave, what are we you've lost the thread dave okay i'm sorry all right i'm sorry i was trying to draft what but is no, it, dave? <laughs> okay dave what oh I, are you just okay i've actually what solved happened? this dave is just doing he's doing a bit he's doing dave david takes joe burrow at pick 39 six spots ahead of adp on a team where he took what home, is six, six spots, spots ahead that's what half a round who cares did you see who else i've drafted on this team no other, no other Chiefs, no other Bengals. Um, the only two players on his team that correlate are guys who you can only use one of their scores per week. Um, so I that's where we're at. If I'm putting something together in my head right now that I wonder if Sosa did, and it completely blew up in his face when we didn't get in the same draft. Sosa, will you pop on screen and just say yes if that's the case? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Wow. I'm so glad I'm not competing this dumb mission right now. Peter, you are you're you're a genius, bud. Dude, I knew it. Because Peter saw my picks and then he Peter, was yours? It would have been so good if you guys were in the same draft. Well, no, obviously you no don't know. Well, expect the unexpected here on the Swole cast. Here's the deal. It's, Here's the reveal. We won't spell it all the way out, but you could probably yeah. infer Sosa gave Kitchen and I the same mission. And someone oh. in the chat actually said that last week. You that that's what they should do. And Peter, I'm I'm incredibly impressed by how you just opened. Don't be your, don't be impressed. When you see what our missions are. It'd be like yes, that is obvious because. And Pete said he's failing his mission. So, um, my, yeah. my mission, um, should be, should be obvious. My, my mission is solvable right now. Um, let's see. Your mission is solvable right now. We got two Seattle players. We got two rookies, three rookies. Um, here, my next pick that? here, here, you'll, you'll solve it. You'll solve it right now. Okay. Rookies, but you mentioned that Derrick Henry, like in a backdoor way, also think, could open point open your open your open your ninth eye and think about how Derrick Henry would correlate with these other players. Because this this Peter, can you can you run down Davis's team because I'm yeah. having a hard time. So Davis started Cooper Cup, Derrick Henry, DK Metcalf seemed pretty standard Davis draft to start there, and then yeah. Jameer Gibbs, JSN, Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnson. So four straight rookies. I. I I get the rookie thing. I'm trying to figure out how Henry plays into this. Who's Derrick Henry play in week 18 or week 17? Houston. So you're going to have to have rookie no. quarterbacks. It's just, yeah. you, you, you got it. You're right there. It's on the tip of your tongue. All right. Well, you know, we got to drag the listeners on a little bit here. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to get to some house cleaning items. Um, Please like this video and leave a comment. I have been blown away by all the comments that people are continuing to leave <laughs> on this show. Here you go. Uh, there we yeah, go. We got some correlation. We're working on my Chiefs bagel stack. <laughs> <laughs> same. Same. 
<laughs> David oh, oh, Sosa. Bless his heart. Bless Sosa's heart. He thought that he had one up to us. And <laughs> he didn't probably... realize we're idiots and we're yeah. gonna even get this tape. It would have been so good too. Like you guys would have figured it out still early, but you would be competing. Someone was gonna lose. Lost <laughs> Lost Cosmonaut, great. Lost Cosmonaut, great comment. Imagine like the three full cast audio only listeners trying to follow this fucking nightmare that's happening right now. <laughs> there, I mean, yeah. So we're we're back on it. People that are listening, Davis and Pete are in their own drafts. Davis can, has drafted a bunch of rookies and Derrick Henry and Cooper Cup. And Pete and I have. Can the I same pull back issue. the curtain? How, and yeah. I legitimately don't know uh, how many how many um, audio downloads do we get on average for this whole cast pod feed. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I can share this because we're actually, having, <laughs> we're actually having meetings during the football season. We had uh, 56,000 over the course meet- of the whole season of the football season. And we had, I was 96- going to say, if we're getting that per episode, we can all just quit our jobs and do this. Uh, we time. had 96,000, <laughs> um, 96,000 YouTube views over the course of the season. So that was just in that time period. But as we know, we are on the way to 10K. We had like 80 people that subscribed last week. If we keep that up, the sky's the limit right here. Um, thank you, Steve, for giving me the answer in the chat. A little over 1,300 last week. So uh, the audio list- for the audio listeners, my team through eight rounds is Anthony Richardson, Derek Henry, Jameer Gibbs, Cooper Cup, DK Metcalf, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Jordan Addison, and Quentin Johnston. So you you getting you really needed Anthony Richardson like because you did not want to get stuck into an all into just like a strike. You, you don't you don't you don't really want uh well with the guys I have you you don't really want to land yourself in Geno Kirk as your only guys. Anthony Richardson is uh he is the the deodorant when you miss out on all the elite quarterbacks because someone in your room took Patrick Mahomes at fifteen. So was your is your uh, mission uh, to hit a certain amount of wide receiver or rookies? It didn't matter where you drafted them. No, no, it's just it was vague. Maybe maybe we need to have uh, Sosa give exact quotas or or something close to it. No, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Sosa has lost his privilege to give us missions for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think he has. Last so we week, need Dave we need zero RB gives me three separate teams to stack. Uh, this week tries to dupe us by giving us the same mission. Next week, we're going to put them on a randomizer wheel. We're going to put all this on a randomizer wheel. And then we're just going to spin the wheel individually before the show. And that way, Sosa cannot take any of the blame for this. That's fair. But, so I just want to let the view know that I took the missions verbatim from Soccer Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you you gave us a list i'm taking the exact things from the list i never I said more specific. it was about the same mission i never said that oh i never i never said you that did. was a little so special mission, sauce that was that was the special general. sauce yeah. and i'm saying these different missions and if you have if if you want to leave comments in the chat as far as like ideas for missions but what i was saying is like different strategies different teams um have a well i don't want to i don't want to give away like what's going to be an epic episode i think later on this year but an epic uh, episode of the soul cast yeah it will be it's just going to require a lot of help so um but yeah if you have any ideas we're just going to all put them on a randomizer wheel and then just go for it and it's not going to be where every pick is randomized with outlandish things like some shows have had um, these are just going to be like legit drafting strategies and see if you can do it. That's all. Mm. It is. Oh, FF doom has a good one. Uh, Dave drafts off ADP instead of vibes. I like, I like that idea. I mean, that's. Hmm. Wow. I ADP have so many... is like the antithesis of living a little. Man. I have so many stacking options here. I could also go Dak. Man. Hey, Hang on. Dak Dak plays indoors, buddy. I haven't know. you heard haven't you heard about El Nino? 
Yeah, I think, man. Man, I don't I think I'm gonna get buried at running back if I wait to come back to one. Aren't you worried about Dalvin Cook, bro? Um why what does Dalvin Cook have to do with my picks? He he's rumored to be going to Denver. How it see Every, all you Dalvin Cook location truthers need to make up your mind because whenever I draft a Miami Dolphin running back, you say, aren't you worried? Now I'm drafting Denver running backs. When I draft the Jets running backs, I'm told, aren't you worried? You guys got to pick one. And I just, them. no, my thing, I just, I'm, I aren't you worry every pick for every reason. Just, I, I you constantly need to be worrying. I, I, I think Dalvin Cook is week one. I think Dalvin Cook's Latavius Murray. I think he's going to be unsigned. Yeah. Um, so David, he, he, your he mission. He has to wait for an injury. He needs an injury. So D- David's mission was to stack Kansas City, Cincinnati. He did so by taking every player ahead of ADP. I mean, he's, oh, it, would, he, I mean, he, he's I also – last week. I learned last week that you can't – at the 10 spot, it's really tough to stack Cincinnati and – Why Kansas. do you think I've refused to do the mission from the 12 spot? <laughs> right. Davis doesn't know. Well, yeah, that's you can't do it from the twelve. You can easily do it from the ten. You can easily do it from the ten. But I mean, Dave, Dave, Dave auto drafted Elijah Moore. No, but Classic. I started, <laughs> I started him. It's Elijah Moore instead of Brandon Cooks. I started him because I have learned my lesson. People are seeing personal growth week by week in this chat, and uh, and that's me. So the only reason you took Elijah Moore is because he catches balls from your favorite human being on the entire planet deshaun watson who loves no. deshaun watson dave no. i what i've learned what i've learned from watching dave draft is that he the thing he likes most is is just having no projectable wide receiver points like what he really enjoys is coming out of a draft just it's being like a little spike week bro like you just gotta yeah dave david's just like look dude you never know elijah moore might be who you need in like weeks five and weeks nine <laughs> Okay, can we can we talk about the whole live a little you just don't know thing? Because I I heard Leone last week on ship chasing say that he actually loves that moniker. Like he loves that idea. The king of was, ADP value nation uh, loves the no, live no, a little no, motto. The king, genius. the king. No, Herzig, Herzig is the king of ADP nation. Herzig is the is the undisputed king of ADP nation, but Leone's pretty close. But this this goes back to like, aren't you worried? Uh, you can't draft him because of weather. And people were saying this in the Swolecast uh, chat in the Kingdom, the, the Deposit Kingdom Discord. And so I went and looked up Christmas Day in Cleveland. Yes, two of the past four years there have been snow showers, right? But there have also been two times in the past four years where the weather in Cleveland has been in the 50s on Christmas Day. Again, you're telling a story with your lineup. I think Cleveland has a lot of value on their team. Does that mean I agree with everything that Deshaun Watson has done? Clearly, no. But for people that are not drafting because he had a bad year last year or because of the weather... Give me a break. The weather the, bros can. The point is, is that you just don't know. You don't. And so you have to tell a story with your lineup. You just don't know. And so that's why the, the real key thing you need to do per Soccer Dave's draft strategy is just completely wait on wide receiver because you just don't know. So just take whoever. No, no, but I will say this. It is if you miss out on Kelsey, because trust me, I did this with a Chihuahua yesterday. It's easy <laughs> to stack. The, the, the <laughs> chat just got such a good one. The story Dave's lineup is telling is that he's hoping for global warming. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Um, can we also give a shout out to Dingus, who's in both of these drafts with us? <laughs> these people, dude. These people, Dude, they... how did this guy get in both drafts he, with us? He was, he's like hedging his bets. He wants to, uh... He's, he was just clicking, bro. He was just clicking. He knows, Incredible. he knows when it's, he knows when it's wool cast time. Um, 
Yeah, so my the reason I was wrestling so much with the Dak or Daniel Jones is because I knew Goff would likely be here, and Herzig told me I can't take Goff and Dak in the same game. Um, so Goff does fall to me here. I'll grab him stacked up with a Monra and, uh, Man, and grab Kendrick. The, the her, I I uh, I spend about eight percent of my waking day going back and forth on the quarterbacks from the same Week Seventeen game. It's uh, a mind logic fuck. viral. It, it, is. it really is. Yeah. Cause you, you go, you go like, well, you know, then if one of them, you know, scores a rushing touchdown and you, you, you have exposure to the highest game and then it's like, okay, well, I want some outs. If the game I really stack is as, you know, has uh bad weather and it just, you just go back and forth the whole, forever. Um, I was able to pick up sky more. So Picking up some of these spike week guys, Elijah Moore, Sky Moore. Yeah, Lazard. Elijah. Moore. I love how you just skip over Al Lazard. <laughs> well, Lazard is one of them. I you got to give Kitchen, Kitchen, like, we all have, like, our brand and, like, a, a draft has, like, a theme to it. You know, like, you can, like, tell a Davis draft, a P draft. Kitchen is so erratic with his drafts that he'll go back to back Alan Lazard and then draft like the buzziest guy from camp and Sky Moore. Just, That's just I, I think it's just because no, he this, just you guys are not giving me credit. Uh, who does Elijah Moore play in week 17? The Jets. Uh, the, Jets. Hello. Yes. the Jets correlate those. I still stack for my mission. Will you will you do me a favor? I do want to circle yeah. back on something someone highlighted. You of course do have your spike week overlay. Will you go to your the player box and type in Watson? I just I do want to check your. Exposure. I haven't uploaded a CSV, so I haven't uploaded a CSV. Well, th- someone said they did notice uh, there was an existing number in there, kitchen, and you've only done like three. Yeah, drafts. but that was but this was after three drafts. I have I have done more, and uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, have you done more, kitchen? I have. What have you done? My account says seven dollars. So what does that tell you? How much did you put in? I've spent forty three dollars in the past. Uh, I did the winner take all because that's kind of my brand. Um, <laughs> How is that your brand? We will just live a little. Uh, we're trying to. <laughs> Dave, if Dave will just say whatever, and then he's just like, "Yeah, if you just live a little, that's my brand." <laughs> Well, that is like if you throw that in there, you are just living a little. Like that is, you are donating basically. It was no. A, there's what, real it, strategy changes when it is that top heavy, and the final I mean, is that you, size. Top heavy. It's winner take all, Davis. Super smooth payout structure. Yeah. Second also, through 50th also, if you dollars. really, if you really think about it, every underdog contest really is winner take all at the end of the day. Have you seen this Chihuahua structure, Davis? I mean, this thing is smooth as Lake Michigan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I I really backed myself into a corner here on this team at at running back and at tight end. Hmm. How are you feeling about Chig these days, Davis? Uh, I mean, he's fine. The Titans are just going to be so bad passing the ball, but he should score some touchdowns. This is going to be a three tight end team. <laughs> FF2 <laughs> live a little, lose a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if just I like Dave, I what I want to know is if Dave just gets so cajumbled doing these these live drafts that I, I like Dave, if you're just locked in, it's just you and your phone, you're hanging out. Like, are your teams better than this? Are you able to sort of keep your your focus? Sure. <laughs> like I, I, sure. Sure. I tweeted out a team last week in that winner take all. Um, <laughs> that was uh, pretty awesome. So, Man, Dingus takes my Irv Smith. I literally can't complete this mission. You're killing me, Dingus. You gotta, you gotta set it up. You have to take MBS and and Richie James and uh, Chase Brown. Dude, I got, I got to reach for Sammy Laporte's. He ain't coming back. I do, I do love Sosa giving you guys a mission where the two quarterbacks are gone before before pick forty, uh, uh, and and having you well, compete when he over said them. Should be easy. I should have known because I'm like uh, stacking both those. Two, you got to have like a, a high draft pick to like effectively. No, you can get Burrow. You can get Burrow for mini slot. Yeah, but who are you drafting with him, Davis? 
if you have to do it late, you do Boyd and Herb. This is what I'm saying. It's not it's not exactly like the easiest. And you then you're taking into the account Kansas City. And he said it should be easy. It's not easy. If I didn't have all this experience under my belt, my <laughs> team would be looking really bad right now. It but is. I actually spent. think Dave's Dave's live drafts are a great <laughs> illustration of a concept that we all sort of know, which is that the the amount of variance inherent in best ball is is beyond anything like our little brains can comprehend. And so, seeing Dave draft these teams on stream, knowing he's gotten multiple teams to a final, uh, it should it should really help you believe <laughs> that you too can succeed. But Davis, I mean, roast my team right now. You can't. You can't. I have done the mission, and then the other players are Bijan, and then the mini stack of Moore and Lazard, and then uh, Kittle and Aconquo. Oh, and Debo. Your team is is god awful. I mean, it's really it's not, bad. <laughs> it's not. It's god awful. If if you're like going by what you were saying, like, oh, you can't draft six spots ahead of ADP. The fact that you say that multiple <laughs> times per stream just means that you still do not get it. You still don't understand the concept of rankings and ADP. Six spots ahead of ADP is a half a round, bro. Live a little. I did want to circle back to the rankings thing. I, I feel like making one set of rankings is doable. It's the idea of constantly, constantly updating, updating. that sounds miserable. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. I I have a set of rankings that I'm gonna put out, and um, we'll see. We'll see. You, well, Davis, I'll just I'll just live a little with the rankings. You're almost at you. You talk about how you want to win one of these tournaments so you can draft the absolute automatics leg up uh, sequel. <laughs> you're basically already doing everything that Pat does now. If you're doing rankings too, you're you're basically already doing it. Uh, I mean, so like. Pat is obviously the the promise is implicit that like he will be updating them every single day. <laughs> the, so like I I do these things for my own edification. Like the dynasty rankings yeah. was like, yeah, I'll do that with you, Pat. This is not a promise that I'm gonna update them, you know, weekly or whatever, but I'll do this project, we'll do this podcast. And I wanted to do the rankings after after talk. I did on the best ball boardroom with Herzig last week and i kind of just wanted to go through the exercise because we talked about it and i kind of wanted to go through the exercise of seeing where i think adp is really wrong mm -hmm. and so it was a good exercise to do anyways i think um yeah i don't know we're just we're vibing dude we're vibing now i know honestly that is the best answer and that is uh people are paying and expecting uh pat to update his and no one is going to be like hounding you on like a Sunday night to adjust. Right. Tyree like Kills people, ADP people who spot. subscribe to the take cast Patreon, they get bonus podcast episodes. They get some nerdy shit. And then basically wherever my curiosity for that week goes, like I post sometimes it'll be golf bets. Sometimes it'll be rankings, dynasty rankings, whatever. Like we're just vibing. It's not, it's not like I don't have, you know, I don't have a fucking customer service uh, hotline. Well, like Pat and does. for people that are, they don't have a history of the swole cast davis was one time paid to do rankings by uh salary cap site well he was actually paid by me to do rankings for that salary cap site except no let's why don't we why don't we actually really get into what happened which is that you subcontracted me out because you were that's hired what I just said. to do <laughs> that's what i just said to do rankings and i i fucked it off because it wasn't important and i knew it wasn't important. and and what did davis do he took DraftKings rankings with wasn't even the same salary cap David, you're not even you're not even right. I just moved every third guy. I just changed the but salary you, of every third guy. But you guy. had to have like a baseline is what I'm saying. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh let me get back to football. Are we buying this Paris Campbell shit? Absolutely not. I mean, every he, every guys, every... you don't know this, but he's gonna be leading the Giants in reception. <laughs> I knew there was one person on this show who'd be buying it. <laughs> There's Dave Dave just checks the Roto World player blurbs like once a week and he sees a good Paris Campbell blurb and he's like, I know that name. I mean, I man. Yeah, like I don't know what you're gonna do with the Giants receivers. I've been yeah. drafting a lot of Hyatt. Um, but like Hyatt is like playing on the third team right now. Okay. 
So, Dave, is your basic you being, supposition, your, is, yeah. your, is your sort of your working theory of fantasy football that it's all unknowable, it's all opaque, and therefore having any opinion uh, based in data or reporting is bad, and you should just take who do you think is good? At no, the- I just told you. I, I'm looking for high upside guys, and I'm also... But how do you how do you define that? How does someone meet the criteria of being high upside? Um, so like you, who is it? Oh, oh, Greg Dortch, right? For Arizona. Is not a high upside player. Extremely right, exactly. low. I would rather go upside. for Michael Wilson. So you're thinking about like a... Um, but what, you know, what would make receiver. Michael Wilson... I'm thinking about a, a guy who can get 15 to 20 points in a game. Jalen Hyatt is the, the reason why I do that. Because if you watched him at Tennessee, what was he good at? Catching the long ball. And I'm not sure with the fluky offense that Tennessee runs in college if that's going to translate one to one, but it's worth a late round pick to me. DJ Chark worth a late round pick to me because I think that in that offense with Bryce Young, who's going to be a, a better um, quarterback than what people think, I, I'm higher on Bryce Young than the field. Based on what? His personal rankings. Exactly, and watching him in Alabama. But you just don't know. You just don't know. But that's that's where I'm taking a stand. Like last year when I took a stand on Jalen Hurts and Chig. <laughs> David, David David famously was the only guy taking a stance on Jalen Hurts. Well, that's what I, this is. I asked. I mean, I <laughs> took a stance on um, you know Mostert. Uh, he was another guy that's. I took a stand on. But David, if we just don't know, yeah. how can we determine who has a high ceiling and who doesn't? Because you have to come up with that yourself. And Davis, you don't come up with that. Your thing is, <laughs> I'm going to let ADP tell me what I should do. I know you didn't, you didn't answer the question. Like, <laughs> you didn't, the question was not answered. Well, we just don't know it has to do with like basically you debunking the trend. That's that's the whole point. This this team is, I I much like much like uh, much like I wish DraftKings had a surrender button for a bad week in a PGA lineup. Dave, are you wishing that there was a surrender button for this draft where you could just get this one refunded? Why? If you could snap get this draft refunded right now, would you? No. All right, good for I've you. Got, I've got probably the highest game total stacked in week 17. So if some of these players that I'm placing bets on get there, for instance, drafting Paris Campbell right now. In the 16th <laughs> round, he could lead the Giants in receptions. If you're reading I, the blurbs, Hey, hey I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you Paris Campbell to lead the Giants in receiving at, uh, at even money. Hang on, I'm gonna stick the landing on this draft with the uh, two with two. two picks here. I, I, um, you're, you're selling me. Here we go. First of all, this one's for Davis. Two to Atwell to bring back on my Daniel Jones stack week 17, and then to honor Sosa, who gave me a mission to stack up the Chiefs and the Bengals. Can I interest you in a little Kadarius Tony Travion Williams? Are you Vinny kidding me? That's the only people you that's the only. He lands the plane. I landed it, Dave. Oh, it's, my. It's ambiguous. <laughs> if you look at my playoff view, you can see Mahomes, Burrow, Mixon, Pacheco, Sky Moore, Rice, Irv Smith. Just freaking staples of this game. And you've got <laughs> staples. Staples. Dave, I mean, the stacking, it's, you know, a lot of people haven't found like a universal definition for it. Um, no, I'd like to think it, Kadarius Tony and yeah. Trayvon Williams could capture like 90% Sosa, of the points. Sosa, did you say mini stack or did you say stack, game stack? Please because don't. This come is on, not Sosa. a game stack. I am, you. Kitchen, it was invalid. The whole prompt, the spirit of the prompt was us in the same draft room. Um, Here's and you ruin the only that. thing that gives me hope. And maybe we should go 50 50 on both of our drafts, is because <laughs> you, you actually swap equity. I don't have, I don't, I don't have any Tony or Travion, and you don't have 
anybody else from the game that I have. Um, Katie, let me see Katie your team. Abel's, Katie Abel's yeah. just had the greatest comment in the history of this whole cast. Uh, ADP is just peer pressure, which is I, honestly, I, 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 I think it's beautiful. Uh, I, I think that should be Dave's new motto. I mean, I said it last year. You're just like caving to you're being you're trying to be like medium. You're trying to be average. That's literally what do you what do you think last year in ADP? What do you think last year's best ball mania champion two point five uh two million dollars richer? What do you what do you think Pat thinks about ADP? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? We just don't know. I mean, why am I why am I trying? I try to get like collectively like people's thoughts, but if Pat's saying you have to draft by ADP, I'd say, well, you're a little bit of a donkey. Like if that's if that's <laughs> That's how you're wanting to win. Like, it won't happen again. It won't happen again. Dave <laughs> calling a shot that Karain will not repeat as champion of best one. Uh, 100%. It will not happen again. Um, Kitchen, if you – do you think underdog should throw out, like, default ADP? Should it just be, like, alphabetical unless you upload your own ranks? No. No. Why not? Because – because anyone drafting purely by ADP is a fish and is like EV for everybody else. <laughs> Dave, Dave, is, Dave is bum hunting on this whole cast. He's bum now, hunting you us. You want to draft by ADP, you're going to end up like Davis on a show with other best ball finalists and trying every year <laughs> to figure out the magic formula and being like, I don't know why. I've, I've entered so many drafts and still I can't make a final. <laughs> Buddy, I'm trying to tell you. All right. You guys heard about this Pierre Strong guy? I have. Dave? Dave him over Ty Chandler. Dave is sort of this, this fascinating goldfish study of, like, what happens when someone exclusively, all he knows about best ball is what people are tweeting. All he knows <laughs> is what he literally sees, uh, you know, eight minutes. Davis, a week that's why Twitter. I represent the common person. <laughs> You, you realize you, you realize not everybody's going into PFF and uh, figuring out trying to figure out what what happened. Like I, I am, I'm looking at all the the people that are saying stuff. I don't know if you saw the um, the thread comments between Joe Holka and uh, Sal Vetri, but one of the guys that they're high on, I think it was. I think it was DJ Shark. Um, I do love, I love the idea that threads are for the common man. Threads yeah. are for people who don't have time to go to PFF, which means that Dave is getting a, a vast amount of his information from Holka and Salvatry. Like, you know, like that is a really good bit equity to me. Davis, you literally just put out a thread last week. And yeah, you Davis, said, you're I told in the you, thread group chat. You've yeah, already admitted it. I told you that Sal Vetri had over 100,000 followers. And the that got me to work. It got me to work. The next day, you put out a thread. Because I can't I can't <laughs> get outworked by Sal Vetri, dude. So how many threads do you put out a day? Uh, Like three a week. Yeah, so yeah. you're getting outworked by Vetri then. Well, it's hard because I don't want to do the you know the low the very low hanging fruit like people really like you know davis the... wants to do just slightly <laughs> higher fruit above that just an extra I... inch above Dave... yeah davis is doing the highbrow threads <laughs> leave the uh no leone does the highbrow threads and they get like four retweets that and that's the thing is i can't i want the happy medium between you know, draft these three players in the first three rounds to supercharge your fantasy team and, and the Leone game theory ones that get, uh, you know, I mean, Leone's information certainly is better than mine, but people are just uh, not, they're not that Can I give it. a controversial take? Why do you want a shit ton of Twitter followers? I don't even think there's a direct path to monetizing that in an obvious way. I would be spending my time on other platforms if you're trying to hack algorithms. Like, you can't even convert people on Twitter to cl click links. Like, they don't even let you get link clicks out the way that they use the algorithm. It's actually, so it's sort of like, it's multi-tiered. The first being that it does help to some degree 
uh, maybe not, maybe not direct, you know, I, I tweet this podcast link, but just the more people having eyes on the work you're doing. But the other thing is that in this day and age, you got to have a social media following to do like, were I to leave my job and do whatever in the future, I could get affiliate way better affiliate deals by having a larger social media following. You're going to get higher, you're going to get higher, um, CPA and better percentages if you have more social media followers. Right. But, I mean, what you're describing are vanity metrics versus like actually being able to leverage a huge audience on, on Twitter. Well, Nick Bird, Nick Bird hit it, which is that I don't care about money. I need the sweet, sweet dopamine. And Nick Bird has read me like a book. This audience well, is this good is, at seeing right yeah. through our bullshit and cutting to our core selves. Right. Um, and this is why I've loved seeing all these comments on the video. Um, they yeah. are. Dave loves the comments that he is almost that directly influences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Do you want to throw out just why people should comment and, and like and subscribe? Peter? Well, you should. You should really comment just out of the goodness of your own heart because of how much sure. joy this show gives you and how much joy David Kitchen rambling about best ball game theory gives you. But if you did hypothetically need to be incentivized, leaving a comment will get you an entry into my fifteen hundred dollar giveaway when my channel hits fifteen thousand subs on a platform where you can actually monetize it. The yeah, thing I love, the thing I love no. the most about this show is every week getting a lecture on game theory from David. Like, you know, <laughs> you could tell he's he's just thought so much about the game of best ball and what you need to until be doing. Until you understand that until you understand that you cannot make a a championship by drafting strictly by ADP and criticizing others for going six spots ahead of where their ADP is. Six. Not even a full round six. Then I, I don't know what to tell you. Like you're just gonna have to learn the hard way. As a parent, there are some times where I know that if there's immediate danger that's really gonna hurt my kid, of course I'm gonna steer them away from it. But if it's something that I've told them multiple times, and they still, they still go towards that, they just have to learn with their own experience. And I hope that's eventually what happens. Can I, I think it'd be really fun. What if we, what if we each gave each other a thread mission and it's not just like a bit like right up your top 10 favorite fruits, but like a fantasy football thread, like actual actionable thing. But we know that it came from this show. People watching this know, but sometime between the next week, we each have to do a fantasy football strategy thread on Twitter. You've heard soccer Dave say live a little. What does that mean? Let's investigate four ways that you can I live a little more. I would read the shit out of a li live a little best ball thread. Sure, I'll okay. do that. I think we, I think we, we go in the lab. We each get. Uh, be, by the time we get on this show next week, we each have to have done. A David thread. is not going to do this. David is. I'm a hundred percent. I will do it. David. Dave needs ideas for content. Like Dave is very excited <laughs> about this. <laughs> this gives me or me David. <laughs> me. Um, yeah. And, and so we have to write our own thread. Thank you. Uh, I did want to put this out there. Dietrich Again, people got say, his shirt. Yeah, Amazing. I just, I just people love... say they don't kitchen. exist. Can't see kitchen. Why we talk about this? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, that's the shirts exist and they are being shipped out. I was stunned when I saw that in the Swolecast channel in the Deposit Kingdom. I, I really, I thought that was the ultimate bit, that people weren't, someone is actually shipping out these shirts now. Oh, uh, guys, we should reveal our missions and the teams that we drafted. <laughs> <laughs> we did go through those drafts fast. Davis, I think our draft was done in like 37 minutes. Yeah, it was done. It was done pretty quickly uh, because we didn't have Soccer Dave going all the way to the end of every clock. Um, so can you share, can you can you share your screen? David? This is my this is my screen. Okay. Why don't you share your, your team so Peter can roast it? Okay. Um it's gonna be hard for me to roast the team that I was supposed to draft for the mission. <laughs> I you know what? 
Peter, I don't think you would have drafted this team. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, my team is not bad. I've got Mahomes and Burrow. David, this team is dog and shit. T- no, it's not. It's not. I got Mahomes and Burrow. And then I've got... you uh, got Mahomes and Burrow, of whose points you can use one yeah, maximum. And then, and then I've got Bijan, Mixon, Pacheco... Your best case scenario the game, every week with this team is that you cannot use the points from your fourth round pick. Al Lazard wide receiver three. <laughs> Debo Moore Lazard, known for catching long balls from Rodgers. Uh, Sky Moore, who every report out of camp says he's having a much better camp than last year. <laughs> Uh, Rice, you just don't know. You, I mean, really, he could be the next Tyreek. We just don't know. Uh, <laughs> you got DJ Shark, DJ Shark. I, I don't know why he's being drafted this low, but it is criminal. If I have a thread, he will probably be on it. Hint. Uh, Paris Campbell. This week, people said that they were. Um, he might lead the team in catches, right, for the Giants. So, and then Chase Claypool. Claypool, another guy who I think injuries hobbled him last year when he went to the Bears, but we've seen I like that he- mini correlation with Bijan. It was the one good pick you made. <clears throat> Chase Claypool is like gonna get cut. No. No, he's not, Davis. You don't know. All right. They, and that, then- that hasn't made it. Chase Claypool being the biggest disappointment of Bears OTAs didn't make it to Normie Twitter. Kittle, Chig, and Herb Smith. If you're not on Chig yet then you haven't been listening to me for the past year and a half here on this whole cast. Like, I don't know why, just, but Chig exactly at ADP is just very funny. It me. is. It is. It is really funny. It's at ADP. It's at ADP, like, but not, not for me. For me, in my rankings, he's like, you know, I got value on him because I have him. There's closing rounds. line kitchen value. There's like yeah. CLB, <laughs> real-time ADP value in kitchen value. In kitchen value. Kitchen as Chig is tight end five. Chig and Shark are are one hundred percent going to be on that. Uh, like I don't like Davis. You also have Chig. Yeah, on your where, team. Did, where did I take him? I don't look. know. Was it six I'll spots behind up. ADP? Oh, 11 spots at ADP value. Now that's a nice looking Chig, right? That's there. some that's some kitchen line value. All right, so let's look at your team. Roast me. What what was my mission, Dave? Hold on, I need to pull it up on the big screen. His eyes are failing him. It's it's I've got a huge screen. All right, now I can see. All right, so your mission. Okay, there's some there's a Seattle. My team is Anthony Richardson, Geno Smith, (laughs) Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs, Zach Charbonnet. Jerome Ford, Chuba Hubbard, Cooper Cup, DK Metcalf, JSN, Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnson, Nico Collins, Marvin Mims, Josh Downs, Chig, Michael Meyer, and Hunter Henry. Davis, I like this team. Yeah, it's all right. If you're, if you're in might be a, it might be a little light at running back. Really? See, it, it, it's I know the teams you post, and it seems I feel like you always have six RBs when I feel like you're good at five. Like this feels like the perfect running back room to me, but. I always go lighter than you, but this looks... You know, looks Sam's nice. research basically found that even in the later rounds, the spike week stuff actually favors the running backs more than you'd think. And I expect it to tilt that way even more this year because wide receivers are being drafted so aggressively. The the one thing I, mean, I guess you could say is your wide receivers uh, could get off to, to very slow starts when you were so rookie heavy. So I would want more wide receivers. In a we got. Super that's why rookie build. I think you can do that when you have Cooper Cup because Cup, Cup might be the opposite, where Cup might, you know, they might be three and ten or whatever, and he rolls his ankle, and that's just curtains for him. Mm. Yeah. What's Peter, what's my mission, guys? On uh, Davis's mission. I I mean it, it it had to have been like draft eight rookies. Half your team had to be rookies. It was just it was just rookie heavy, but I like really pushed it. Obviously, I just I was like because that that mission is so nebulous. So I was like, I'm gonna re- I'm just gonna really push it. Um, shout out to Davis and Kitchen for both 
completely com- completing their mission. You did get to 50% rookies on this team, Davis. Nine rookies. And and obviously, like, Mims, probably I would not have taken him normally completely unstacked. I, I guess he, you know, banged a .3 correlation with Quentin Johnson or whatever. Uh, probably would have taken a vet there to – because JSN is – JSN's probably going to be really bad for, like, the first six weeks of the season. Were you pissed I sniped you on Laporta? Yes. Yeah, I wanted him. I got I got kind of I got kind of caught at tight end, which is why I took three. I was gonna take CJ Stroud. That was the that was the hint with the Derrick Henry in a very convoluted way uh attached to the mission, but couldn't couldn't afford to go three quarterback on this team. Yeah. Um Sosa saying if any of our teams win, he gets a cut. That only works if you are also assuming some of the uh negative ROI as well. Like what if, Kitchen is saying is you've seen his account balance, please send him twelve fifty for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, you want to roast my team? The people love it when you roast my teams. Yeah. All right. So Peter's mission was to stack Kansas City and Cincinnati. So he <laughs> did that by taking a running back who's not going to make the Bengals in Travion Williams and uh, the consensus worst pick at ADP, Kadarius Tony. He lived a little by taking Daniel Jones ahead of ADP uh, instead of Dak Prescott, who gets to play indoors. He did the same thing that Sean McVay did and settled for Jared Goff. He started off, obviously, with a great anchor running back, the running back two for the Seahawks in Kenneth Walker. Peter is not worried about ancient Dalvin Cook returning. He took Taysom Hill's handcuff and Kendra Miller. Devin Singletary's worked out so great for everyone the last four years. He just had to gobble him up there. A wide receiver, classic Pete team, pissing yellow with a uh, notorious beta wide receiver, C.D. Lamb, Amon Ross St. Brown, or as I like to call him, fancy Keenan Allen. Christian Watson, uh, according to Twitter, has a higher ceiling than even Randy Moss. Peter, much like David, is just reading these Twitter blurbs, gobbling them up. Russell Wilson, a famously well-adjusted individual, got to get his wide receiver one and Jerry Judy. Peter drafted uh, a guy who's had the same amount of NFL touchdowns as him last year, Deontay Johnson, ahead of ADP. I don't know if that's what David meant by living a little. I think David would tell you Deontay Johnson maybe doesn't have the ceiling you need. I pick 60. Then he took two guys in the NFL who shorter than me, Wandell Robinson and Tutu Atwell. At least Wandell leads the NFL in dog per centimeter. And, of course, he had to not live a little and match up his stacks. A few picks after ADP with Darren Waller. And then he had to cuck me with Sam Laporta. Absolutely brutal pick of Sam Laporta. I really needed him to tie the room together. Davis, given that Pete's mission was to do a Kansas City Cincinnati stack, what would you grade him just on the mission alone? Uh, I mean, F minus because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pre- <laughs> it's a D. It's a D. No, Come on. no, you did not. You did not draft in the spirit of the mission. No, I, of course, but an F is no Chiefs or, or Bengals. I get a D on this. D minus. Okay. I'm going to give you I'll like, you know, uh, well, Davis probably knows this. Like D- David is living. Semester. David is living so much he just killed his microphone. Sorry, our loss. Uh, I just knew. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking through a whatever, but basically. Um, was oh Davis asked for or Pete asked for extra credit at the end of the at the like end of the draft just to get him to a passing grade. That's why you get a D minus. Yeah, but really, uh, I mean, it's really Dave. This is the highlight of my week. Watching you find ways to continually get Rasheed Rice as your wide receiver three is it's is the true highlight of my week, and I'm glad to be a part of it. As always, Davis, I am happy to calculate ROI at the end of the best ball season to see which one of us had the most ROI, taking into account. I'll do. I'll do that. Players, I'll do that. But 200, also, two hundred and fifty dollars side bet greater ROI. I want you to think about that. I uh, want you guys to to get a Zach versus Herzig esque best ball <laughs> bet. But, <laughs> but what I, what I was about to say is also. Factoring in time spent. My like time David, is worth you... nothing, Dave. Okay. <laughs> well, you're going to tell me I used to pay you uh, by the hour. So, um, all right. 
Final thoughts, Peter. Just fix your mic. Kitchen. I don't know. I changed the uh, the video, and then something happened. I don't know. What the the behind the scenes is kitchen was in the Streamyard hopper thirty minutes before the show started to get this figured out. We still not just kitchen, part. not just kitchen. A lot of blame Devin. being thrown around these days. Devin also was, and I have to throw Sosa under the bus. <laughs> Yesterday, Devin was in the office, and I said, I'm sure Sosa talked to you about the audio issues in the conference or in the uh, the streaming room. And he said, no, Sosa hasn't told me anything about that. And I said, well, mm. we're having some issues. And so that's why we were, we tried to replace everything. But obviously, when I changed the uh, the camera setting, something, something happened. Mm. So, all right. Um, um, can, I, can I do one? Can I say one yeah. thing for Davis? And uh, sure. Davis, uh, I know... We'll, all this is complete bit aside, but sorry about your your pup. I saw your your tweet, and uh, I, I, anytime you posted photos of her, I always loved that dog. So I'm I'm very sorry for uh, for your puppy loss. Such a good dog, bro. When is Rudman? When is Rudman gonna launch the Saint Bernard? Uh, it should be. Uh, it should <laughs> I be thought sing- about that. <laughs> should be single entry, uh, one hundred and eleven dollars or something like that. I'm in there. All rate goes to Davis Maddox underdog <laughs> account. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just rake back for how much I'm costing them in cardio club because I'm just doing all my drafts as cardio clubs. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm sorry about that. I also want to. I also want to say sorry about that, Davis. People know. If you listen, hey, she knew. Sadie, she knew. She knew how to live a little, dude. She was not drafting yeah. off ADP, guaranteed. Um, and I want to shout out a listener named Brandon who sent me a uh, pretty awesome DM, and I won't go through it all, but. He said, I can't tell you how much listening to the Swolecast each week brought a smile to my face, even in the darkest times of my life. So, uh, you know, we do silly stuff on here. And if you are listening and laughing, then maybe getting a little bit of info from this show, then you have accomplished a lot. Uh, mission accomplished there. All right. I think that will do it. Leave a comment. I Tell mean, this is the year. leading best ball theory podcast, David. I don't, like, not only not only are we are we lightening people's lives, but this is like when people want to think about the theory, when they want to think about thinking, this will cast is where they come. Yeah, and if you think that there's only one line of thinking that wins um, championships in fantasy, then um, you know you're Davis Maddox. So that will do it for the show. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to um, producer Sosa for trying. Uh, I, I do want to give Sosa a shout out. He did good toggling back and forth. He did. We we got to give him. We got to give him. Give his, you your flowers. Yeah, we got to get flowers there because he that was. Uh, we should have just prepared for that. Uh, obviously, for for old man David's thumbs to get in um, slower, but uh, Sosa, you did you did good. Literally did it when you said you said it was full. It was only ten of twelve. I do not want to take the fall. Your for mic this quality one. is so bad, right? Now. All right, screw you. All right, I will do it. See you later. Peace.